I'm so excited about this Camaro that showed up at the V8 Speed and Resto shop that I'm doing this video in the rain. Now clearly this 1967 Camaro needs some work. In fact, it kind of looks like it just got dragged out of a barn. But what's so cool about this one is what it is and the story behind it. So it was born a butternut yellow, black vinyl top, yellow interior, 67 Camaro SS 350 four speed with the Rally Sport appearance package, right? So basically a full boat car. Now it changed to black at some point, but today uh, the car is still loaded with its original custom interior, center console, gauge package with the rally gauges on the console, the four speed transmission and the numbers matching 350 under the hood. Some of the brake hardware and the alternator have been replaced. Uh, it's got an aluminum radiator today, but overall uh, this car has Pretty much everything that it came with when it was new. Now it's definitely in need of restoration. There's some rust in the quarter panels in the back and I'm kind of thinking that that rust started from the trim holes on the RS trim package which had wheel well opening moldings and a lot of times those screw holes caused rust. But when we go under the car we see the original 12 bolt rear axle assembly is still in place. It's got a pair of slapper style traction bars and a nice pair of vintage rusty Flowmaster mufflers underneath. But overall, it's in really good shape. If you look at the floors, they've got some surface rust on them, but there's no evidence that this car has been cut apart and, and floor patches have been put in place. But even looking over at the back of the rocker panels, it's really clean. Uh, this car did not get real rusty on the bottom, which is great. The subframe bushings are shot, which is to be expected, but I believe the subframe could probably be just media blasted and, and restored and be reused once again. The four-speed transmission has all the stuff it came with, um, that bottom side trim ring uh, for the shift boot attached to the top of the trans tunnel, uh, the orange bell housing and all that good stuff. When we move to the front of the car, we can see the SS suspension componentry, heavy duty springs and shocks, four piston disc brakes from the factory, uh, the sway bar. Uh, and looking at the front of this car, you can see that nothing has been changed with aftermarket parts except for like the, the radiator, you know, and the other things we mentioned. Uh, and the bottom edges of the body are not rusty either. So the bottom of the fenders are nice. And uh, I don't think this car is gonna be hiding a whole lot of secrets. I love a great survivor with a great story and this is both. The owner of this car and his brother used to cruise this thing, uh, you know, a long time ago when they were back in high school. And unfortunately, the owner's brother is no longer with us and the car actually got away, but when the owner turned 40 years old, his wife had located this car and bought it back and presented it back to the owner. So that he got his car back that him and his brother used to cruise around in. And today it's here at the V8 Speed and Resto shop as we're strategizing on the right way to return this thing to the road. Now, some people might say, hey, this should be properly restored back to its original butternut yellow color. But I will say that all the memories were made with the owner and his brother when this car was already painted black. So I think the choice is up to him. It is his car, but I think it's super cool either way. It's true what they say that every old car has a story. Well, more than one. Uh, we're just happy to be a small part of this Camaro's journey. If you want to follow along, go to our website at v8speedshop.com where we will be posting all the update photos and videos of the process of this very cool and very special 1967 Camaro RS SS 350.